thousands came together in public to process with and adore the Lord. He's everything. He's love. He's peace. He's repentance. He, he's life. He's life itself. Helping lead the Eucharistic procession through downtown Indianapolis, children who have recently received Jesus Christ in their first Holy Communion. And with them all along the way, plenty of people moved by a spirit of revival. What does the Eucharist mean to you? Wow. <laughs> Everything. That's why we're here. And uh, it's Jesus and he's renewing us. It's revival time. On these city streets, an expression of real faith in Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. This is truth. This is what's been hidden. This is what we've either rejected or denied or refused to see or perhaps just didn't even notice. Just the joy and you can just sense his presence here. The Holy Spirit is, is here with us. This is us saying the body and blood of Christ is the body and blood of Christ. It's not a metaphor, it's not a joke, and it's not pagan. It's real. It's what we're here for. It feels amazing. I'm just encountering Jesus in the Eucharist in just a way I've never even dreamed possible. I just see so many people that believe like what I believe. It's amazing. These downtown streets in Indianapolis are filled for this Eucharistic procession, but they're also filled with song. Take a listen to the prayerful. Ending at the Indiana War Memorial, a mile of procession was followed by public adoration before the Blessed Sacrament. The experience here is not just a historic event. The uh, red that you can take every day. This couple told us it's a reminder that Jesus is present in every Catholic church. In every mass, you can receive him there. The Eucharist gives me the strength on a daily basis. So I'm grateful to be able to receive him daily. Mark Irons, WTN News.